In the pecking order of the African bush, there are winners and losers. In this land, predators rule. But the journey to become king or queen isn't an easy one. Life up to now has been relatively carefree for the teenagers. Yearlings Kimba and Maya may not be facing independence just yet, but they must start providing food for their family. Maya has yet to learn that you should never get between a hippo and its river. Adult lions rarely try and hunt aggressive hippos, but the inexperienced teenagers can't resist a chase. Loyal Kimba joins his sister in the line of fire. It's stalemate. Luckily for the yearlings, the hippo heads into the safety of the water. While lions have mastery over most creatures here, flies get the upper hand every time. In contrast to his sister, Kimba is showing signs that he's maturing and his hunting skills are progressing. He spots a family of warthogs. He joins his mother in position as the pride single out an individual. A lioness charges, herding it towards the rest of the pride. But Maya's more focused on the insects bothering her and completely misses her cue. The warthog lives to see another day, an incredibly lucky escape. Lions are the biggest of Africa's cats, with males standing four feet tall at the shoulder and weighing 420 pounds. While lionesses are smaller at 290 pounds. They are the only truly social big cats, living together in groups known as prides. Their ability to hunt as a team gives them the edge and allows them to bring down prey well over twice their size. By weight, lions are responsible for 65% of the prey killed on the savanna. And these lions specialize in hunting one of their fellow big five. Buffaloes are no easy target though because these huge herbivores have one special weapon against predators. Power in numbers. Herds like this one are made up mostly of females and their young and can have several hundred members. Within such a big group, organization is needed. And buffaloes have a well-ordered herd structure with smaller family units sticking together. This mother had her first calf at around five years old. 
the youngster will be weaned at seven months and from there on will subsist on grass like his mum. If conditions are good, the mother will have a new calf every 15 months. She, like all buffalo cows, won't move far from her relatives in the herd. But the bulls must look further afield if they're to find a mate. Before they can breed, they have to fight their way up the herd's hierarchy. This means going head to head with other bulls. Two 1,700 pound bulls slamming into each other has the equivalent force of a car hitting a wall at 31 miles per hour. To protect their brains and absorb the impact, males have a thick helmet of horn called a boss. It takes eight years of battling for a buffalo bull to get high enough on the pecking order to be eligible for breeding. Dominance in these mega herds has other benefits too. The highest ranking buffaloes take up position at front and center of the herd, giving them first access to the best food and minimizing their chances of becoming prey. But not all buffalo enjoy the safety of the herd. Bulls leave when they get too old to fight for dominance or keep up with the group. Alone, they are far more vulnerable to lions. and more dangerous to man. Legends of these old bulls trampling and goring hunters to death struck fear into the hearts of men and earned buffalo a place in the big five. Unlike rhino and elephant, buffalo weigh less than a ton, making them small enough to be killed by lions. Mostly the mega herders have the edge and a united front of horned heads can drive away a whole pride of lions. Such large congregations not only offer protection from predators, they also play a crucial role in maintaining the savanna ecosystem. Buffalo are bulk grazers using wide rows of incisors to crop large quantities of long grass. As they feed, they clear access to shorter, more nutritious shoots below for selective grazers like rhino. It's the buffalo's ability to work as a herd and to survive on low quality food that has allowed them to thrive in the face of nature's challenges. With population estimates ranging from 500,000 to a million, they are the most numerous of any of the big five. But still, buffalo must stay vigilant. Because lions are also experts at working together, which is no doubt how this buffalo became a meal. Male lions are more powerful than the females and eat first. Once this big male has had the proverbial lion's share, 
the rest will eat. The pride is at home in the dense cover of the bushveld, using the cloak of foliage to remain unseen and protect their newest and most vulnerable members.